So to begin the fitting sequence for the Rebel 3D orthosis, have the patient sit in a chair with their knee flexed at 30 to 60 degrees. Place the orthosis carefully with all the straps undone so that the knee joints align with the anatomical knee center. The tibial shell and thigh shell should be placed over the patient's leg without any gapping. The knee joints should reside to anatomical knee center and then slightly above. With the knee joints in place, you're going to begin the strapping sequence. You want to start with the calf strap. This calf strap features a boa dial and quick release buckle. To engage the quick release buckle, we recommend loosening the boa dial to allow for enough excursion so that the quick release can come in in a forward position, underhook underneath the clip, and then lock into place. Once this is complete, tighten the boa dial by turning it to the right to the optimal position. The next strap in the sequence is the lower calf strap. This can be done by undoing the Velcro and placing it through the D-ring buckle. If you need to adjust the length of your strap, to do this, begin by pulling back the alligator tab. Release the strap by pulling it away. Once this is done, you can cut and trim the strap to the desired length. Then carefully place it back in the alligator tab and close it, making sure the strap is nice and secure. It's important to take note that the anterior tibia counterforce strap should not be cut or trimmed. The reason being is that it helps to hold the BOA dial cables in place. So if any cutting or trimming is done, it could potentially ruin this system. So once this strap is placed, you're only going to use the BOA dial to do the tightening. The tightening will supply the counterforce in the anterior section and then the suspension aspect in the calf strap. So it's not necessary at any point in time to cut and trim this particular strap. To take off the brace, all that's required is to release the BOA dial. This will release the cable system and put it in a relaxed position. Next, lift up on the quick release buckle, pull up and away, and disengage the buckle. You can then begin by unvelcroing the rest of the knee orthosis.